All right, so today I thought I would experiment with a vlogging format. And um, as you can see, I went ahead and sketched out my subject, this tiger, and laid down my underpainting, um, which is like a, a burnt sienna kind of brown color for my shadows and my highlights, um, just to kind of map out where the dark and light need to be. I went ahead for the sake of time and mixed my colors here on this recycled piece of styrofoam. And I'm just gonna dive right in. So I thought um, I would try this out because I am obsessed with watching other people create. And I thought that people might be interested in watching me work. I don't typically talk while I paint. So this is kind of new for me. Um, I really like to just be quiet and zone out. Uh, when I work. Um, for the most part, I listen to podcasts because I find it's entertaining without distracting. Um, I listen to, or I have been listening to, this podcast called The Dollop. Um, it is hilarious. I'm obsessed with it. I think I've listened to like 133 podcasts um and i guess the the premise essentially is that two these two comedians um dave anthony it's kind of like a historical buff researches and tell researches like this absurd um historical event and shares it with his friend comedian Gareth Reynolds um and they basically just laugh at how ridiculous history has been um I think for me I have found it both hilarious and horrifying how like ignorant humanity has been in the past. Um, but the one thing that does give me hope in regard to humanity, especially with this podcast is that with each new generation, we get a little bit better. We learn from our mistakes. And in time, we might even be able to laugh <laughs> about them. At least that's my hope. So I'm just kind of going in here with a little brush and filling in my stripes. Uh-oh, left-handed problems right there. That's okay. I think it was Bob Ross that says there's no such thing as a mistake, just happy accidents. So we'll turn that into something positive. So 
So this isn't really gonna be hyper-realistic. Um, mostly because of time. I'm quite a slow, methodical painter. But this is a really good challenge for me. Uh, might need a switch to smaller brush, but I'm gonna just kind of do my best to crank out as much of the thicker markings as I can. And you guys get a first-hand view of how shaky my hands are. And that might also be another reason I'm a slow painter. <laughs> so I'm kind of, while I'm doing this, I'm just checking my photo reference and make sure, making sure that I'm filling in the right things with my black here. Okay. Get a little bit of gray. Do some of my shadows. So I think for me, when I first started painting, I'm sure other people have probably experienced this, is that it needs to be perfect. But as you're seeing here, I'm kind of just dabbing with a paintbrush and letting whatever pigment deposits land wherever they need to land. Okay. Getting a smaller paintbrush and going in here to do some of the finer details. So I think another reason my hands shaking so bad because it is freezing in here in my studio. I work out of my home. I live in this log cabin out in the country, which is really beautiful and conducive to creative expression in whatever form it manifests, but this room I'm in, my art studio, is um, an add-on and doesn't have much insulation, so I can get really cold. I'm actually bundled up in a robe. <laughs> Still have all my jammies from last night. And uh, just doing my best to stay warm. All right, I think that's pretty decent. I'm gonna come in here and fill in some more stripes. What's nice about this burnt sienna 
um, underpainting is that this tiger already has a lot of that orange color. So I don't really have to do a whole lot. I don't know if you really paid a whole lot of attention when I showed you my palette, but um, I didn't really blend or mix a lot of orange or yellow for this guy. I don't really need it. So it's kind of following that warp smart not hard, smart, <laughs> smart and not hard. All right. Whew. So I really wanted this video to be like 10 minutes. We're already at 11 here. I'm gonna try to power through and get something somewhat complete, but if I don't finish it, I'll at least take a picture of it so we can see the final product. I would say that my approach today is a little bit more sloppy just because I'm feeling that heat. But it's not looking too bad. Okay. What's great about fur too is that it can be kind of sloppy. <laughs> okay. Add in some orange here. Just added a little bit of yellow. Okay. Color's drying out just a little bit. Okay. Some orange down here. Pretty good. Alright. Just gonna add some white. Maybe even some gray. pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it now and then I'll add my background splashes and post the picture. Thanks for watching for 15 minutes.